Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad, <coughs> back again for another uh, birthday beer review. It's my birthday! Yay! Anyway, um, I'm going to do a Magic Rock beer. Um, I'm going to get, I potentially could get a bit of grief over this. Um, this is the Illuminance New England IPA, available at a Tesco for three quid. As we all know, or may not know, uh, Magic Rock sold their soul to uh, the Lion Group out of Australia because uh, of a bit of controversy on the old internet in, in the beer community. Um, people are not buying Magic Rock beer anymore. People want to buy, buy uh, Magic Rock beer until the quality fails, then they'll go. Blah, 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 blah. <coughs> I'm of that, that side. Once the quality goes, I'll stop um, buying Magic Rock. But saying that, I don't buy Magic Rock that often because it's not overly and readily available um, where I go to get my beers, um, certainly in the supermarkets. The Tesco's obviously are selling this luminescence, the luminance and sorcery, and I think they're doing Cannonball and Inhaler, which I've already reviewed anyway. Um, so any of the new stuff, I'm not really bothered. I don't know, don't know where to get it. If it pops up, I might get it. I might not. There's always, for one being that stands in a fridge, there's always hundreds of others that I've never reviewed before. So, I think this is the last one that they did before the takeover. Hopefully it'll be still be good. It is, by the way, to the, do the details here, it is a 6.5% ABV. Uh, best before on this one is 7th of March 20. There's the expiry date there. And the ABV is round here somewhere. So there you go. I have not seen any reviews of this, so I don't know what to expect. One thing Magic Rock do do, and we'll pop a top and we'll see what we've got. So the one thing Magic Rock do really, really well is IPA, New England style IPA, double dry hopped IPA. They are really, usually really, really good. So let's see what we get out of this one. Okay, there's a little bit left, I'll top that up shortly. So, beer and glass, what have we got? We've got ourselves a cloudy, hazy, juice bomb looking beer. Bright orange. Um, we've got two fingers, two and a half fingers, two fingers of bright white, reasonably fairly compact head. Um, looks very similar to the wildcard uh, beer I did. And a previous review um, looks like a, a good solid um, New England IPA for me to be fair looks really tasty let's just take a second to admire this I'll do so it's got a nose that's what it can smell some nice um, tropical notes We've got, a bit of, we've got a bit of mango, we've got a bit of grapefruit, we've got a bit of pineapple. Massive amounts of orange. A bit of biscuit. It's definitely a, a, a digestive ar uh, aroma. Anyway, let's tuck in. Light carbonation. I was checking the checking the ingredients. Yes, there's a yolk in it. Light carbonation. Light to medium body. The ingredients say it contains barley, wheat, and rye. There is a <laughs> there's something there. That it is the rye or not? I don't know. I'll say it is. <coughs> there's a spiciness to it. Anyway, let's go for a big taste. So, go. No, Medium bodies, we've got light fair light carbonation. Let's go for a big taste. It's great. It really is. It's it's a it's a lovely, lovely, smooth New England IPA. There's a little 
touch of bitterness that just starts right across the until until you drink get to the back end. The back end is a little bit of spice, which is a bit peppery, which is really nice. When you consider when you've got sort of grapefruit, you've got a little bit of mango, uh, oranges, peel, pith, that type of stuff. So you got a bit of a um, you are slightly when you eat it if you, if you have eaten um, orange peel. That's what you know, that's what you've got. Uh, but then the spiciness is there and a bit of dryness as well. It's really, really nice. Quality bit. It's a decent, decent New England IPA. It's solid. It's real it's it's no it's again, it's not a well beater by any any length or any, any great shakes. But it's not rubbish. I've had rubbish. I've had worse doing IPAs from Tesco's. And we have bear in mind that this is three pounds a can. So the brief to be given is make us a new England IPA for <coughs> that we can sell for three quid. And this is what we've got. We've got this. You know, and this is worth every penny of three pounds. It's a fridge filler. Hot sunny day. Sit outside. Bit of a barbecue going. It works. You know, it really does work. And there will be people who go, oh, you, you sell it out and you're a traitor this and traitor that. Recycle. I um, should be drinking three pounds a can. Do you know what I mean? It's three pounds a can. It's a magic rock beer for three pounds a can. Anyway, so. If you've had luminance, in fact, I'll get it here, it's still here. If you had luminance, let me know what you think. Put a comment below. Um, there will be a link to the Magic Rock Brewery if you want to have a look at it. It's entirely up to you. It's not a problem. I know there are some people who will be watching and be turning, it, turning over and going, ah, balls to this. Um, if you had the video, do that. The video, do that. Hit the subscribe button. Um, and I will see you all on the next one. Hell yeah.